Welcome back. We're studying the burden of Malachi. We're in Malachi chapter 2, verses 3 and 4 this morning. Listen in. Behold, I will rebuke your descendants and spread refuse on your faces, the refuse of your solemn feasts, and one will take you away with it. Then you shall know that I have sent this commandment to you, that my covenant with Levi may continue, says the Lord of hosts. Now, we'll say more tomorrow morning about the covenant of Levi and and at other times as we're continuing through the book. But noticing right here what we have. So looking at verse 3 particularly, it's a strong rebuke, isn't it? You need to shape up. You need to do that or you're going to be basically taken away with it. I'm not going to put up with it anymore, God says. The time has run out. The time has run out. I will rebuke your descendants. The, the priesthood was a continuing thing, and it's supposed to continue. The Levites are supposed to, it's supposed to go down to their next uh, male children coming up and so on down through the ages. And you know what? It, in the end, the Levitical priesthood was ended because they became fully apostatized. So this warning was carried to the full later on. He's giving them a last warning here. You need to come up to the line. And he's basically saying at verse 4, when you see this judgment, when this finally comes to pass, that, you know, your, your people are knocked out completely, when my rebuke has d- fallen upon your descendants, that's when it'll be very clear that I have done just what I said. I have rejected you. Verse 4, then you shall know that I have sent this commandment to you, that my covenant with Levi may continue, says the Lord of hosts. God has a very particular covenant with Levi. We'll talk about that again. We'll talk about it tomorrow. He is saying that I am not going to change this all around because of you. We're still on this plan. You're still held up to this high standard. You may feel like sneering. You may feel like giving a mediocre offering. You may not feel like doing this thing. What you feel isn't going to matter in the end. What matters is my commandment. And this is a good message to apply to us in our lives today, isn't it? Because we're living in this age when what's the question? Oh, how do you feel? How does this feel? What is this good for me? How is this good for me? It's all about me, 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 me. But but the kingdom of God is not about me, 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 me. The kingdom of God is about Jesus. It's about God's heavenly plan to transform us and help us to become unselfish, selfless people, little little copies of Jesus, very little, very far from the actual ultimate Jesus, but in some respects at least, echoing his life into the world. And God, that's God's purpose for us. And we can't throw that away. We can't put velvet on it. We can't chop it down or smooth it down or polish it down. It's just the way it is. It's not about how you feel. It's about what God's command is. It's not a bad thing because the grace of God is, is ready to be poured out. Will we be willing vessels? Or are we going to be like some of these, these priests that never got it, they live cheap lives, and God finally utterly abandons them as we see in verse 3? So let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, we want to seek you. We want to seek you more closely. We want to do your will. Oh, Lord, please help us to... Uh, in the priesthood of believers, to do what you'd have each of us to do. Help us to be faithful workers in our time and our place, just as you were calling these, these workers to be faithful in their time and their place. Lord, use us. Use us in spite of ourselves. Bring us, Lord, to where you can use us. Thank you for hearing our prayer. And now, Lord, we ask for this blessing. We ask for your help. In Jesus' name, amen. So God be with you through the rest of your day as you also are Malachi yourself, and I'm Malachi, his messenger. Let's be messengers of his goodness.